Um, this video is about, um, you know, why should you be leaving the train day? What's the big deal? Um, well, I wrote an article um, about it, and I thought I'd just read you the article, uh, or at least highlight the good parts about it, to maybe help you understand the idea, the concept, uh, the reasons behind why and why not, um, and then you can make your own decision. Okay. Um, today the Jehovah Witnesses visit houses, um, and they've uh, visited me on lots of occasions. I've had lots of conversations with them, and um, I really bother them with my um, reasoning and ar arguments that I give them. Uh, they end up usually bringing back higher and higher ranked Jehovah Witnesses because they get all flustered, and yeah, they they have real problems. Anyway, um, one discussion I, I had with them, um, why I believe the Trinity is true and why it's important for you to understand. Okay, on the surface, uh, believing Jesus is an archangel like uh, they do, like the Jehovah Witnesses do, uh, one could think this is unimportant. Or you could say, as any other religions, other religions believe he's just a prophet. Okay, so uh, Jehovah Witnesses say he's an archangel, other religions say he's just a prophet. Now, what is the harm there? What is the harm? Okay, this is the important part. Okay, so why is it important? At least they believe Jesus, you think, at least they believe in Jesus. That's, that's important. At least they believe in Jesus. What's the big deal? But what hit me on... It hit me uh, hit me later after the um, uh, the conversation was it's it's a very subtle reason they're teaching and they're teaching a lie that is actually come from Satan. So one problem is they're actually teaching a lie. It's actually a lie, and it's come from Satan. Lies <laughs> have come from Satan. That's where it's originated. Now you don't really want to be going around saying Jesus is a prophet, or Jesus was just a man, or Jesus was just a prophet, or, or, he's, or he was an angel. Okay, if it's a lie from Satan, you don't want to you don't want to say it anyway. Okay, scripture is clear that God alone is to be worshipped. Turning Jesus into a creation and not the creator is a direct attack on the true worship of the living God. So that is a big deal. The devil ultimately wants worship that's what the whole system false religions in the world is all about he wants to steal uh worship from god so he wants to worship that's why he asked for jesus and uh, that's what he asked jesus for in the wilderness if you read the new testament um and that's what false religions of the world have been created by him are for once i personally had a a, a demonic attack in my bed at night um the demon actually was speaking with me in an audible voice and what it said to me was worship it it actually used um the words venerate me or something i didn't even know what it was going on about i didn't even know what the word was he was using and finally i clicked it was actually he changed it later on and he said worship me i was thinking oh okay that's what venerate means um so it was interesting at the time um not actually terrifying like um some demonic encounters i've actually had but this one was fascinating because it's not every day a demon attacks you and then starts audibly talking to you, okay? That doesn't happen to me every day. That was a very unusual. Um, but that did t tell me that these demons like me. They want worship, okay? Not just the devil, but demons want worship too. So from that uh, personal experience, I know he has an agenda on the earth. That Satan's agenda is worship. And we can read that in the Bible. It's everywhere. It's uh, it's a big theology in the Bible about it. But, uh, do, I mean, doctrines in the Bible about it. Okay, think about it for a second. Turning Jesus into one of, uh, to, turning Jesus, the one who all things have been created um, by, into one of his creations, not only diminishes his identity and honor, but takes away much of the great grace he showed uh, he showed for us by dying on the cross but by suffering on the cross so it's trying to diminish his work as the creator see if he's the creator and he's dying for us to show his love and mercy and compassion and he suffered for us that's amazing 
if he's just a creation created to do that for God, that's diminishing his work again. See, the Creator subjecting himself to ridicule uh, to save us shows the incredible love and grace he has for us. Whereas, whereas saying Jesus is just an angel created by God to suffer these things for him makes God out to be um, mean and not loving, letting someone else do all the work and the suffering for him. That's not really particularly, um, if it's not true, it's it's hideous, isn't it? It's a hideous lie. So this this whole lie that Jesus is just a prophet or Jesus was just a uh, an angel is actually really, really terrible if you start thinking about it deeply. Okay, let's not diminish God's great love for us by, uh, by coming himself to us. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit always existed together as one in eternity before he created the universe. So let's not diminish his great love and suffering and things he's done for us. One, hopefully some good reasoning there or some provoking thoughts for you to think about why the Trinity is true and why you shouldn't just reject it because of um, someone, religious person, has said it's not true. Okay, don't take, take their word for it. 